Okay guys, welcome back to a new deck tech. Well, not really new. People have been playing it. Everybody knows what it is. It is Grixis Delver Budgeted. Now granted, it's still going to cost you about 180 ticks on MTGO. And it's still probably roughly about 250 I think right now. Like 250 maybe. But that's because prices have been fluctuating lately. But <laughs> better than never, right? So we'll get right into it. We are running two... Snapcaster Mages, a 2-1 for 1 and a blue flash when this when Snapcaster Mage enters the battlefield target instant or sorcery card in your graveyard gains flashback until end of turn. The flashback cost is equal to its mana cost. All around good card and it so much synergy with this deck. I would love to be running 4. But 2 is going to be the max that we're going to run in this build. We're also running 2 Tassiger the Golden Fang, 4-5 for 5 and a black. Legendary creature. Delve. Each card you exile from your graveyard while casting this spell pays for one. So say you've got four cards in your graveyard. This thing's only going to cost two mana. And you just exile those four cards. So there you go. There's your four or five. So it also has the ability for two and, a high, and two hybrid green blues. Put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard. Then return a non-land card of an opponent's choice from your graveyard to your hand very good card it lets you get back all of your stuff almost and pretty much normally when he hits it's game over um now granted they can still path to exile it but ah, who cares you've got more tricks up your sleeve all right moving on we have three Gurmog angler five five for six and a black with delve just a, a big heavy beater then that they can't really get rid of so there's that and then we go to the meat and potatoes of this. We are running four Delver of Secrets. Now on his front side, he is a 1-1 one, one for a blue. At the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. You may reveal that card. If it is an instant or sorcery card, is revealed this way. Transform Delver of Secrets. And he turns into Insectile Aberration. He is a 3-2 with flying. This is what the deck revolves around. Keep him alive and you win the game literally so there you go and then to top it all off we are running three young pyromancer you're running red right why not i mean a lot of instants and sorceries why not so two one for a red and one whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell put a one one red elemental creature token onto the battlefield you're running a whole bunch of instants and sorceries make a small little army that builds up over time Alright, and that's all the creatures for the deck. It is running 14 of them. You can switch it up however you want. So, there you go. Alright, now moving on to the instants and sorceries. We are running 2 Terminate, which is a black and a red instant. Destroy target creature, it can't be regenerated. Very good card. I don't see why it's not seeing more play in this meta. Just because you have things like Siege Rhino and stuff like that. Granted, Heroes Downfall is a lot better, but you don't want to be color hungry. You're in a three color deck. <laughs> don't be color hungry. So, there's that. Dread Boar is another option, but it is sorcery speed, but it will kill a Planeswalker. And then we are running two Electrolyze. Instant for one, a blue and a red. Deals two damage divided as you choose among one or two target creatures and or players. And draw a card. So, it just gets rid of anything pesky, like another, like, say they're finna flip a Delver, oh, in response to your, the trigger going off. Electrolyze. Kill it, one to the other person, or one to the opponent, and draw a card. So, there you go. And then we're running four Lightning Bolt. You should know what it is. If, if you don't, it, it, it's a staple. Just, that's all I gotta say. So, one red instant deals three damage to target creature or player. Very good card, needed in here. It gets rid of a whole bunch of stuff, so there you go. Alright, and then we're running 4 Thought Scour. Instant for a blue. Target player puts the top two cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Draw a card. I have won because of this card so many times. They scry, keep something on top. I Thought Scour them and get rid of their, w their win condition. So, and draw a card. Or you can do it to yourself to help your delve out. Um, then we're running two Remand, one into blue instant, 
counter target spell, if that spell is countered this way, put it into its owner's hand instead of into that player's graveyard and draw a card. God forbid they try and drop something like an Elvis Norn or an Iona, because, yeah, you just remand it back to their hand. And another thing, a lot of people don't realize this, Lingering Souls. If they flash it back from the graveyard and you remand it, it they don't go back in their hand. It still exiles. A lot of people don't know that. I've seen judge calls on that multiple times. So, there you go. Alright, and then we're running Forge of Taxian Probe, which is a Phyrexian Blue, which means you can either pay two life or a blue to play this. And it's a sorcery. Look at target player's hand and draw a card. So, yeah, just like first turn. Okay, I got a probe. Let's see what they're playing. And then go and get whatever you need. And you get to draw a card off that. So, I mean, it, it's kind of like, oh, I get a free extra card. So, there, yeah. Then we're running four sleight of hands. I would rather these be serum visions, but I wasn't paying $20 a piece for them on MTGO because that's retarded. But anyway, it's one blue, it's a sorcery. Look at the top two cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the other on the bottom of your library. I like the card. It has synergy. Why not? And then the last two are we are running three Bono Leaks. One in a blue instant counter target spell unless it's controller pays three. Now late game, the card sucks unless they're playing something like really huge or something like that. But I mean, other than that, early game, Bono Leak is amazing. Same thing with this one. Spell Snare, we are running three of them. A blue instant counter target spell with converted mana cost two. So anything you need don't need out there, Eidolon of the Great Rebel, okay, I'm not going to take any damage because I'm going to counter it. So, I mean, it's just something to get around, like, the little two-cost stuff. Like, I've seen, I've seen humans running around a little bit, which was kind of odd for me to see that, but, I mean, I've seen it. So, I mean, Spell Snare's there just to help back it up, you know. And then that's it for the Instants and Sorceries. Now, moving on to the land base, which... I know some people are going to argue with this land base, but I like it, so deal with it. We are running one Watery Grave. It is a land, island, swamp. Enters the battlefield. You may pay two life. If you don't, it comes into play tapped, and it taps for a blue or a black. We are also running two Steam Vents, which is an island mountain. Taps for red or blue. Same thing as Watery Grave. It's a shock land. And then we are running one Blood Crypt, which is the black, red, swamp mountain. And same thing. So that's all your shock lands. Um, we're, we are running one Sulphur Falls. I You could possibly turn this into a Watery Grave, but I do not suggest it. Or you could uh, turn it into a Desolate Lighthouse. But here's the battlefield tapped unless you control an island or a mountain. And it'll tap for a blue or a red. So, I mean, just... It, it's decent. And then we're running eight shock land Or not shock lands, eight... Fetch lands. We are running four Bloodstained Mire. Tap it, pay one life, sacrifice Bloodstained Mire, search your library for a swamp or mountain card, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Yes, you can go get shock lands with this, for those of you that are new to modern. And then we are running four Polluted Delta, and this searches for an island or a swamp. So, same thing, so letting y'all know. And then, last but not least, we are running one swamp three islands, and one mountain. That's it for the main deck. Um, moving on to my sideboard, which is kind of clunky, but it works for me. We're running two spell pierce. Blue, instant, counter target, non-creature spell, unless it's controller pays two. This card is amazing. It has won me games. I do not see more than three in there, though. I, three would be cut and close. Um, we're running one Flash Freeze, which is a blue and one instant counter target red or green spell. This mainly comes in against uh, Bloom Titan, uh, Escape Shift, just anything like that. Um, the little mono green deck that's been running around. So yeah, there's that. Then we're running two Counter Flux, two blue and a red. Can't be countered, and counter target spell you don't control. So, and it also has overload for a blue, for two blue, a red, and one. 
You may cast a spell for its overload cost if you do change its text by replacing all instances of target with each. This mainly comes in against Storm. Um, they go to they go and play um, Grape Shot or Empty the Warrens. Okay, response. I'm going to overload Counterflux, get rid of all their copies. You need this in there against Storm. Um, we're also running two Dragon's Claw, and it's a two-costing artifact. Whenever a player casts a red spell, you may gain one life. This is in there against, you guessed it, Burn, because we are very, very weak to Burn. So we just got to pray to God that they kind of draw a dead hand and hope for the best. Um, then we're running two Relic of Progenitus. Um, one casting cost, artifact, tap, target player exiles a card from his or her graveyard. Or, you can pay one, exile this card, and exile all cards from all graveyards, and draw a card. This comes in against any graveyard strategy, which kind of counterproductive, because it kind of does that to us. But, I didn't want to buy Leyline of the Voids, because I think that'd be too much of a dead card. Um, then, moving on, we are running one Raven's Trap. It is two, and two black is an instant trap. If an opponent had three or more cards put into his or her graveyard from anywhere this turn, you may pay zero rather than pay Ravenous Traps monocost. Exile all cards from target player's graveyard. This is just another grave hate. Um, j just in case for some reason they surgical my relic. Oh, I've still got a Ravenous Trap in here. You know what I mean? J just something different. And then moving on, we are running one Shatter Storm, two and two red. Destroy all artifacts. They can't be regenerated. This is against all your artifact decks, uh, affinity, stuff like that. But you gotta hold out for a while and pray to God you draw this. Um, so there's that. Against the white decks, we have Sulfur Elemental. 3-2 two for two and a red with Flash and Split Second. As long as this spell is on the stack, players can't cast spells or activate abilities that aren't mana abilities. <coughs> and I'm sorry. And white creatures get plus one, minus one. So pretty much against tokens um, and stuff like that because tokens are, is a big problem with this deck because you have no board wipe. Um, and then we're running one Vandal Blast, Sorcery for a red, destroy target artifact you don't control, and it's overload of four and a red. Just just another one in there just in case you need it. Because um, affinities run rampant on on here so I think Vandal Blast is pretty well because maybe there's sometimes it's like oh I just need one thing on instead of all of it granted I'm gonna try and get all of it going but you know what I mean and then we're running one shattering spree sorcery red with a replicate with red when you cast this spell copy it for each time you pay this replicate cost you may choose new targets for the copies destroy target artifact just another way to get rid of a whole bunch of pesky problems with artifacts. And then last but not least, we are running one Rending Volley. Instant for a red. Can't be countered. And it deals four damage to target white or blue creature. I used to run Combust, but I hardly ever see Baneslayer Angels anymore. I run them quite a bit. But other people don't think like me, and I'm just crazy like that. So... There's there's the deck list. Budget Grixis Delver. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. And I will catch you next time. And hopefully it won't take so long to upload this. So, deuces.